Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host, Justin Winter, and today the Hobart Bay Ones take on the Washington State Cougars, who are honestly struggling on offense and defense and all around. It's no wonder they don't have any wins. We'll see how Hobart Bay's mediocrity does with that. Hobart Bay's mediocre in all their stats and record. Tyler Halinski, who in real life, unfortunately, has passed. Heart goes out to him in the game here, his season. Not going great, but he's not a bad quarterback. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. Definitely more of a pocket passer. Their main wide receiver, Tavares Martin, 13 carries, catches, 210 yards. No touchdowns, though, which is interesting. However, he does average 70 yards per game, so pretty good there. And he's very evenly spread out. A bit more on the speed side, but he's got good catching too. There's a reason why he's 90 overall. And then they also have Keith Harrington, who has 153 yards. He does have a touchdown. And he's averaging only 51 yards per game, but that's not bad. And you look at that speed, good speed, phenomenal acceleration, and he's just an all-around good player. It should be interesting to see how it goes. And we are here in Seattle, Washington, the last place I'm sure Washington State wants to be, as it's the site, the home stadium of their rival Washington Huskies. But they have to come here to face the Hobart Bay Ones, who initially were going to be that easy win that people thought they'd be. But for some reason, Hobart Bay is coming out and they're making a name for themselves and they're giving people a whole lot of trouble. Meanwhile, Washington State's defense is uh, not so good. Hobart Bay's defense is actually pretty good, except that they don't get many turnovers, although they did have the one pick six earlier this season. Either way, should be a great game. I am excited for this one. Washington State 0-3, Hobart Bay 2-2. Here we are at the coin toss. Wazoo loses the coin toss. Hobart Bay will choose to kick the ball off first. Here we go. Chase Brooks is up. And we have kickoff in Seattle, Washington. Tavares Martin Jr. will take it out. And he has space and then he gets taken down after a return of 24. So Washington State has that air raid offense and they're looking to absolutely destroy Hobart Bay with it. Little play action to start. And the first pass by Halinski goes for 14 to Tavares Martin. That's a very quick start for Washington State. And of course, they're another hurry up team. I don't think I need to tell you who the only hurry up team we faced is. Here we go, another pass. Of course, it's the air raid as Holinsky finds Tavares Martin again. Martin getting in on all kinds of plays thus far. Got a second down and three. Do a little screen again to Tavares Martin. He breaks a tackle and eventually works his way down to about the 17 yard line. So he's not in every play, only the big ones. Here we go, third and five. Holinsky gets, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name, Madigan, he gets Madigan. Now it's third and goal, trying to score. They're gonna throw Holinsky and he finds Ben Peoples. Touchdown Washington State, nine for 10, 77 yards on that drive. Great, great drive by Washington State. That was pretty good. Here we go, the extra point is, oh, he missed it. I don't know if he stubbed his toe or what, but he missed it. And then LSU, number one, loses by 11 to Mississippi State. Everything while's going on. I mean, I can sort of understand if you miss the extra point to the side, but that, that just didn't even get enough uh, air on it as Zach East does a little read option for 19 yards. Wow. Okay, then. So, only 6 nothing then. As East looks to throw here, and he finds Gio Saria, who breaks the tackle, and is going down the sideline and gets taken down at about the 8-yard line. Great play by Gio Saria, and that's second down and goal. It's another read option, and Zach East walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. Well, 
Looks like Hobart Bay takes the lead because they don't miss the extra point. Seven, six, ones. And that little screenplay, Johnson could have been chased down, but he somehow got away. Gain of seven. Here we go. Another pass. It always is. And it's another pass to Isaiah Johnson. So two plays and a first down there. Now second down and four here. As Madigan goes in motion, but he decides to block. Instead, Holinsky throws to a wide open Tavares Martin. Touchdown, Cougars. How in the world did he get that wide open? Wow. And the extra point here is good this time. He did not stub his toe while kicking that one. So Washington State still maintains a six-point lead, 13-7. Two minutes left in the first, and another curl route, this one to Bubba West, 20 yards. Honestly, neither defenses look great. East, over the middle, the and win for a first down, 13 yards. Very next play, dropping back to pass, East rolling out, will he run? Yes, he will. Gets a block, has space, and he tried to make a move, but he gets taken down after a gain of 23. First down. Time running short on the first quarter. East throws. Tyler Lamb caught in short of the end zone. 13 yards, another first down. Whoa. 13-7, end the first quarter. The defenses have looked dreadful so far. I mean, absolutely awful. The first down and goal for Hobart Bay. Another read option and another walk-in touchdown for Zach East. Two easy untouched touchdowns for Zach East. Hobart Bay reclaims their lead. And another screen pass. That's Harrington. I don't know what Gilliam was doing, but he lets Harrington get all the way for about, I don't know, 20 yards or something like that. First down and 10 for Washington State as Holinsky looks to throw. Finds Johnson, and he gets another first down. Johnson now getting in the game some more. There we go. First down and 10. Holinsky looking to throw. And he finds Madigan over on the wheel route. 19 yards. Third down and two now. Hobart Bay just trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. Can they do it? Holinsky to throw. Looking. Fires. And he just throws that one out the back of the end zone. Hobart Bay forces a turnover. Not a turnover. A field goal attempt. Here we go. Snap hold. Kick is... What? He missed it. Wide right. Like a 22-23 yard field goal from the left hash. And he misses it wide right. Well, East is here, and he gets sacked. So Hobart Bay instantly goes three and out. But wow. So 14-13, the fuel, missed field goal comes to nothing. Near a play action. I don't know who they think they're fooling. Because, uh, I mean, they got almost a first down. Second down in inches here. Another throw. Another first down for Isaiah Harrington as he gets past the 30. I don't know who they thought they were fooling on the play action. They never run the ball. Again, who are they fooling? And that one's intercepted by Corey Fitzpatrick. He wasn't fooled, and Hobart Bay will get the ball back. Holinsky is 18 for 22, 234 yards. He's actually doing quite well so far. Here we go. First play of the Hobart Bay Drive, East looking to throw, he's rolling out, trying to find someone, instead he tries to run, and he loses the football, but it's recovered by Lee. So third down and 18 now. East just looking for someone, and it's swatted away. And so another three and out. So after an electric start for both offenses, they become stale. Walensky looking to throw again, and he gets hit before he could deliver anything. So Washington State goes 3-0. Hobart Bay, their very first play. East rolls out. 
looking for someone, and he's got a wide open Thien one who couldn't make the defender miss 46 yards. That ought to provide a spark. Zeese rolls out again, he always does, and he finds Geosaria this time on the C route. Third down and 12 though, this is a big play. Looking, throws, caught by Tyler Lamb, a perfectly placed pass. And now on second and goal, 15 seconds left, East does a QB sneak and scores. He ties the school record for rushing touchdowns in a game at three, and he only needs one more in the second half. The first half ends, 21 to 13 Hobart Bay leads. An interesting half, to say the least. So here we are in the halftime show, and it's very interesting how this one has gone. Both offenses were absolutely unstoppable in the first quarter. Unstoppable. And it continued that way through the start of the second quarter. Hobart Bay scored another touchdown. Washington State drove all the way down and finally got forced to kick a field goal. And then once they missed the field goal, there was no offense. The offenses just did terribly. And <laughs> that's that's really all there is. It was all offense, and then it was all defense. And then at the very end, Hobart Bay managed to get another score thanks to some broken coverage, and that just sparked a whole lot. And you see Hobart Bay, aside from passing yards, they're obviously not going to beat Wazoo in that area, because... They're the, they're the Cougars. They have Mike Leach with the air raid offense. But in everything else, Hobart Bay is absolutely dominating. Uh, we saw one interception from Washington State. That was to Corey Fitzpatrick. The other one was at the very end of the half, very last play, and the return did nothing. So it, it was really a... It, it could have been knocked away. But here we go. Second half coming up. Second half and uh, second and ten. East drops back, throws, caught by Gio Saria, and he gets taken down after a gain of 12. Another second down, a read option, and East has plenty of space. He slides down after another first down. Second down, again. Little play action here, rolling out, seeing if he can find anyone. He only hangs a lot of green. He slides down after another first down. My goodness, second down again. What's it with second downs here? As he throws and gets another first down. This one to Bubba West, 19 yards. Oh, this one's a first down. Okay. Toss left. Trey Rogas has space on the outside. Needs one man beat, and he doesn't. Eight yard run. Third down and two now. And they're going to toss it right to Trey Rogas, and this time he does get in. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. And this is the first two possession lead they've ever had. Let's see if they can hold it up. Actually, no, that's not true. They had a 10 point lead against Rutgers. But this is the biggest lead they've ever had. And now the sack by Michael Wallace puts it at third and 18. Obviously a throw here. Walensky has all day. He chucks it deep downfield and that's knocked out by Corian Reynad. Great play there by the defender. And on third down and three for the Hobart Bay drive. A little curl route and Gio Saria holds on. How many of those catches has he had where he just gets hit and he holds on? Here we go. He's, he's just looking. He's going to chuck it downfield. And he's... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That was sending up a prayer and he got that. Third down and seven. Wow, a little throw to Trey Rogus, and he gets taken down just short of the first down marker, but Hobart Bay wants a first down. They want to put this one away. A little QB sneak gets him well, well more than enough. 18 runs, 110 yards for Zach East today. He's doing pretty good. End of the third quarter, perhaps the last play. Rogus out to the right, looks like another touchdown, and no! They took him down inches short of the goal line. End the third quarter, 28-13. Hobart Bay has just been sucking that clock up. And they have a 15-point lead on the inch line. Here we go, third and goal. 
And Zach East does not get it on the QB sneak. Fourth and goal. And uh, yeah, they're going to go for this one. Probably another QB sneak. If they don't get it, Wazoo's up of one. But this one does go in, and Zach East officially breaks the record, has four rushing touchdowns on the day. That is a new school record. Here we go, Wazoo. They need something. They really do need something. Third down and ten. Gets sacked by Nate Link. What a man. He's been doing well for a transfer. And Wazoo's going to punt. Down by three scores in the fourth, and they're punting. Wow. I mean, that basically concedes the game. He and Wen gets uh, seven yards, not great. And Hobart Bay has been just sucking that clock up. I mean, they took, they've taken over, the, they've taken the clock and used it up over half of it. As this throw is intercepted by Moulton. He's running down the sideline and he gets to about the 32, so... I guess a second chance, but third down and nine, they're not really doing much of anything. Looking to throw again. And that one's incomplete, fourth down and nine. Not exactly sure what you're going to do here. You're going to go for it now. It's a bit late for that. Here we go. Will they get it? Answer is he breaks a tackle and then throws it way short. So no, they will not get it. Hobart Bay could probably drain the clock all the way from there. 36 seconds, first and goal. They could take a knee. Instead, Zach East will get his fifth rushing touchdown on the day and he breaks the school record for rushing yards in a game by one yard by one yard yes here we go third down and four though wazoo's still trying to make something happen and they just throw an incomplete pass hope our is going to get the ball again really and with one second left hope our Bay, they're just going to try and pat the stats here i guess you can call this unsportsmanlike as he throws that one. And there's Bubba West. And he makes a man miss. And oh my goodness. That absolutely scored another touchdown. Wow. They were just trying to pad the stats a little bit. And that happens. Wow. Yeah, Maryland was pretty rude last year. But that was pretty rude by Hobart Bay. I ain't going to lie about that. But, nevertheless, Zach East, 298 yards in the air and 146 yards on the ground. Absolutely phenomenal game by Hobart Bay. Obviously their best ever, as they win 35 points. Their previous largest win was by three points. Okay, three points. This is by 35. I have no idea where this came from. Is Washington State that bad? Is Hobart Bay that good? I don't know. This is completely different from what we've seen. The defense stepped up after the first quarter, and the offense was just consistent. Yeah, they turned the ball over, but it was inconsequential. This is interesting. I will see you in the post-game show to recap the sudden explosion of Hobart Bay goodness. Until then. Zach East went 14 for 29, 298 yards through the air, a touchdown, and a pick. 48% completion, but with those yards, it wasn't bad. He also had 26 carries for 146 yards. Trey Rogus had 11 carries for 30. Five touchdowns for East, one for Rogus. Pretty good day on the ground overall. Gio Saria, not the most. That goes to Bubba West, 4 for 91. Saria, 4 for 73. Tyler Lamb, 3 for 69. Only touchdown went to Bubba West. And that was at the very end. Defensively, our tackle leader was Jimmy Hollis with only 5. Normally, it's more than that. Most tackles for loss was split between Nate Link, Michael Wallace, and Peter Clay. We don't see much of Clay, but he is in there. Corey Fitzpatrick and Gerald Williams both had interceptions. Fitzpatrick's was obviously the more influential. The Wazoo tackle leader was Hunter Dale with seven tackles, all of them alone. 
he didn't get a sack, that actually goes to Hanzer and to Oguayo. Wait, Oguayo? No, Molten. Whoops. No, the... Forget I said anything. Tavares Martin Jr. had five catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. Uh, everyone else was kind of mediocre. I mean, you look at that, 47, 37, 22, 10, 3 for Ben Peoples, and uh, he got a touchdown off of that one. But Tavares Martin, definitely the best. Tyler Helensky had negative 15 yards rushing. Madigan had 14 yards rushing, which means on the day, Washington State had negative 1 yards rushing. Wow. And then through the air, he went 20 for 36, 232 yards, 2 touchdowns, 2 picks. So he winds up not... Like, I think he had 234 yards at some point in the first half, and then through the rest of the game, he had negative passing yards. Wow. You look at the box score there, Hobart Bay. Absolute domination on all fronts. Except for maybe the passing that maybe wasn't absolute. But Zach East, for that performance, got NCAA Player of the Week. How about that, people? He's got some national attention now. Good for him. And next week, Hobart Bay takes on the number 12 Arkansas Razorbacks. Hope to see you there. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a nice day.